In a news bulletin for tonight, Miss Nui Aotearoa 2015 to 2016, Grace Turner, was on her first trip to Nui to reconnect with family and cultural roots. A local conchologist published his first book based on the carry of Nui. Tamkotonga proved that a show day on Friday can be done. Miss Nui Aotearoa 2015 to 2016, Grace Turner, made her first trip to Nui in a journey of self-discovery. This trip has been a special tribute acknowledging her Nuean roots and trying to reconnect with the island and its people. Miss Turner arrived on Friday and was instantly pulled in for a number of public appearances. We caught up with her on Saturday at the Lakepa Show Day to fi- find out how that experience has been so far. This is my first time here and I'm just really excited. I'm only here for about four days, but I'm sure I'll make the most of it. Well, as soon as I landed, actually, I got really teary-eyed uh, because I haven't been here before. I just felt I just felt home. It's so much green. It's so different from New Zealand. and It's just awesome to be here amongst New Zealand people, you know, just, just to be home. It's awesome. Awesome feeling. It's just awesome to be here. It's quite different. Um, I must admit, I wasn't, uh, wasn't prepared for just how, how homely and different it would feel. Um, just being amongst the people, it's, it's not like New Zealand at all, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, no, it's just it's awesome to be here. Saturday provided an opportunity to get involved in the La Kappa Community Show Day, where she posed for pictures, caught up with people, and even had a hand at coconut husking. Although this is a rather short visit, the schedule has been quite busy. So as soon as I got here, I pretty much started going to um, to appearances. So I went on the radio uh, last night with uh, Crosspower, with you and Glenn, and that was awesome. And also uh, just here today, and then I'm sure I think I have a few more appointments over the next few days. So busy, busy. At the moment, I'm just doing my rounds, greeting people, but I'm, I'm keeping my eye out for, for what I want to eat when I go back later on. So, yeah. A visit to the elderly folks' home on Sunday was a heartwarming experience, as well as attending a number of church services. Miss Niwe Aotearoa departed the island today. Her reign will be over within the next few months, and then she will hand over the title to the next Miss Niwe Aotearoa at a pageant in Auckland, New Zealand, in October of this year. A local conchologist has just launched a newly published book about the Kauri shells of Niue that should be ready for public to buy and learn about different species of seashells in Niue. The author, Herman Tangaloi Lunga of Hikdavake, is a tour guide and his many years of working in the education sector has accumulated a lot of information about the history of Niue and he saw that there was an opportunity to expand and share his knowledge about Kauri shells as another of Niue's taonga, not only for the upcoming generation, but also for the tourist industry and a group of collectors from around the world of whom he is part of. The reason why I want this, you know, uh, launch uh, via a busy end, uh, so people are uh, interested, yeah, but particularly uh, students who are doing science work in the, in the field of biology, uh, they can take advantage of these uh, resources because all the resources are in this book, uh, in the, my archive and also my own uh, library, my, my uh, uh, private archive. So the book should be interest to many collectors around the world because uh, uh, they want to come here and I knew many people who wants to come here. But as soon as they, 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 they know that uh, New have now uh, documented one of its own, I think it is the first in the Pacific because the last one is uh, Sinoski, and he's not, uh, but he knew the Pacific very well. You know, collectors would love the book because of uh, the golden carry of Nui, you know, the pride of this place. The value of, uh, of the whole of the whole value is uh, $1.5 million. For the whole collection? For the whole collection, yeah. And, and now included, you know, have been, you know, documented, mm-hmm. is up to $2.5 million. So the whole thing is documented now, and I work hard, and I'm very glad, I'm very pleased to the Chamber of Commerce, they are mentioned here, that helped me, you know, put this book, uh, uh, you know, for, for, for on the market to promote, you know, this place up. And this will be the property of our children. According to Mr. Tangaloi Lunga, there is an abundance of different cowrie shells in Yue, and his estimate of what his collection is worth is an opportunity to generate an income. 
although he said that New East Tonga should not be compromised by the dollar signs simply because there is a danger that New East could be denying the future generations of a chance to enjoy what it has once it starts selling these rare commodities as New East does not actually have the capacity to supply once the market demands it. He has yet to confirm the cost of the book, although he will be giving some of them to his fellow collectors from around the world as a way to promote Niue. Mr. Tangaloi Lunga is also a keen historian with a deep knowledge of Niue history. He plans to write a book about Niue's past from a Niuean person's perspective. The village of Tamgotonga completed their very first show day ever to be held on Friday. That was last week. Due to an apparent clash of dates with La Kepa, the community decided to host their show day on a Friday, proving that it could actually be done. Tomkotonga's village green was filled with excited and eager locals along with tourists ready to purchase the delicious food that was on sale. The day started out rather slowly, considering that on a Friday some within the private sector and a few departments are actually working and not forgetting plain day, as well as students who are still in school. People slowly arrived to the village, looking excited, and were quick to purchase food on sale. Most of the plates sold out by 10 in the morning. According to the acting premier, Honorable Botos Vili, the village people of Tamgotonga were hard-working people, especially working land. Proving, and this was proven with the many large yams and tires and agricultural produce that were on display. The women's handicraft section was filled with fine and detailed handmade craft work from earrings to necklaces, fabric creations like bed and pillow covers, all unique in their own way. Each of the ladies were challenged to focus on making the carefully woven coconut mat or bola and intricate bowl using pandanus leaves as well. One prominent display that has proven quite popular at the village show days was the presence of the Niue Fire Department who had their truck and equipment on display, staff were there to share information and the youngsters were in awe of this opportunity to get up and close and personal with the equipment and experience what it must be like to be a fireman for one day. The day ended on a high note with entertainment from the community. That concludes our news bulletin for this evening. Do join us again for our next news bulletin on Thursday.